Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist. I'm doing with Hubby. Okay. He's here on time this week. <laughs> Today we are doing the the ravens and the frog. And I just realized I left my print out in the bedroom. Oh no. Hey, Andrea, Spence, Gila. Doing my job. Thank you. We'll have more coming in. So I didn't get her all filled in, but I got a lot of her in. And the thing is, is I want to put in the ravens and the frog because of the frog's little but put in the ravens and maybe some of the ground around her so I can get my contrast right the ravens her hair you can see the full photo right here I've lightened it up so it's easier to see um, but the ravens the cauldron her hair the cave here in the background those are all the darkest part and so I really need them in order to have everything adjusted right I do have everything transferred on here. I still have my pattern attached because it is such a big piece in case I miss something or I'm not sure about something, I can drop my pattern and make sure I have everything lined up right. I did notice when I was working on this yesterday and I posted it for the Super Toasties because they have the pattern. When I drew this out, in fact, I can show you on the pattern. When you look at it, oh, come on, big piece. When you look at it, I'm, got, I'm missing a line right here. And I kept looking at it, wondering why it was off. And that is because <laughs> I've got her arm and the stick together, making it a really thick arm. But I'm glad I finally figured out what I did wrong because now she has, oops, <laughs> has the proper size. And I can keep going. And I've got the top of the stick in. So I printed out a lighter version of the reference. I may still have to use my phone, but I printed out a lighter reference, and that's what Hubby's getting. Sorry, I took that off. It was such a long walk. Well, they're, <laughs> it's a little lighter. They're yeah, restoring the grand staircase, and I had to take <laughs> the servant's elevator to the third floor. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use the 18 extra small because these are small areas and it carries heat different. So I'm going to zoom into the area. We are going to start with the flying raven first. Let me angle it so you guys can see what's going on with the tip. First, I want to very quickly take my charcoal white and put in, we have a couple of light areas that I want to get in so that I don't burn those areas because these highlights are in the painting and we want to make sure and keep them. All right. See, right now it doesn't look like a bird and actually the way uh, Waterhouse painted it, there is zero detail to it, but you know it's a bird because of the shape of it. So we're just going to go along with that. So I am actually going to go a little higher. I'm going to go up to three and a half. Hey, Kathy. Uh, we won't have uh, Burl today, I don't think. She went to take her grandson to the bus, and they have a bunch of ice, and she slipped and fell and hit her head. Oh, no. So, yeah, I, he was going to go lay down. And I said, yes, please, because he's got a headache. All right, so, whoop, whoop. She has a headache? Gonna, yeah, she has a headache and a, and a knot. Ooh. Yeah. She, she needs to get that looked at. Yeah. Luckily, her husband's home with her, so she is not alone. All righty. So we are just going to send healing toasty vibes to her. I hope she feels better. Now, looking at the photo, that is the top of the raven head. And then there is this little bitty piece right here is the beak. So let's go ahead and get that in there real quick. All right, so three and a half. Remember, I'm going for painterly, not my normal burn, which is what's really been throwing me off. Exercise. It is. So I'm just going to quickly make strokes. I'm using more of the tip, but I am getting some of the side. And this will allow me to get the other darks darker. Make it a little easier to see. 
I'm going to bump down to three because those are our darkest areas that I just put in. Going with the shape of the feathers. It is definitely hard trying to do a brush stroke when you don't, you're not using a brush. Mm. So there's not too much detail of, of the tail feathers, meaning we don't see a whole bunch sticking down. And then we've got our wing feathers. I'm trying to just do one or two strokes. I'm using my phone because it is a little brighter. Because I see... Mm, John Larson is here. Hey, John. He's our newest toasty. So super toasty. John, the new member. Mm-hmm. I can go even further down. I'm going to go down to two and a half. Because I am just using the tip. So... John is trying to figure out how to order spoon shaders. Spoon shaders from Optima. I'm just waiting for him to respond. That's why I haven't said anything. Right. It's funny, I've got a John Larson that um, is associated with me in, in my work, but it's spelled differently. Ah. Let's bring this in. Be sketchy. And right now, what you guys are saying is going to look like crud. Because you guys are you're seeing the up close strokes, but remember this is meant to be viewed from a further distance away. And John says for, no from anywhere. From anywhere. I guess it depends on what kind of burner he has. He does. Um, why don't we start with what kind of burner first, yep. and then we can go from there. So I'm going more flat. I mean, the spoon shaders I will always recommend are for Optimus. For Burnmaster. For Burnmaster. I personally don't care for their spoon shaders, but <clears throat> you can go to the what? Uh, oh, uh, mountainwoodcarvers.com should have them. She ca uh, Pam carries. Um, Burnmaster. So Mountain Wood Carvers, all one word, dot com, and go under the uh, Burnmaster section of wood burning tools. And Pam, she gets you taken care of. All right. So we don't really have, we have a lighter area here. But we don't have... Gary is here. Hey, Gary. Carrie, Gary. not Gary. <laughs> I was, wondering, I was like, wrong? do we have a new person? That's Casper Boo, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. So we're John not... says thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Pam sells Burnmaster, Colwood, and Optima. So we got a little light here. And it got darker. And right now it's gonna look it does look so messy. It does look messy and I have to be okay with that. I have to keep telling myself and copying what the painter did. But the ravens were just meant to help create a mood. They weren't a part of the subject. So I got to keep that in mind. And we have the head. I'll sketch that in. Okay, Carrie. What? So Jason and I have been called worse. <laughs> oh, so have I. I can't say what I've been called. I 
Alrighty. Let's think of happier things. Mm -hmm. so let's think of happier things. So this is the edge of the bird's head. And then I'm probably going to have to lower my heat in order to get a more light tone. And I did put up, let me switch it over real quick. I did pop up a sepia photo as well. Oh, it was already on. There we go. That one's going to be harder to, this one is for the contrast. It's so we can see that. Come on, come back to me. Come back, there we are. Um, having one of those mornings. Why am I having one of those mornings? It's morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing a little bit better on my phone. Although the printout allows me to feel better about the darks. And I keep that in mind. I may feel off about them, but they are there. So I'm going flat, full flat tip. There we go. Gave us the small, and then I can go back and darken it. But now it feels a little better. And we do see feathers hanging here. Let's smooth out this top. Sometimes you just need multiple references. I agree with that. See, I do see more feathers here that are more defined, but I think it's a little too late for me now. Well, I think that, like you said, it's not a major part of it, so I think that if you keep it loose, I think it's fine. Okay, well, let's back out and see, because, like I said, you guys see the, you guys see the real, real details. Ah, let's back it out. So let's back it out. See? It's fine. And that is the beauty of doing a big piece. It can look not so pretty up close, but when you back it out, we can see a difference. And it's dark enough to go with her hair. Alrighty. We're going to bump down here to this one on the skull. And right now I'm doing this side because it's easier than me flipping the board back and forth right now. And for some of it, I am going to have to do that. Alrighty, so we have a shadow down below. We have a skull, we have a rock. And we have a more detailed raven. And I'm thinking I might have to switch to a smaller tip, maybe. See here. We're gonna see. Now this one we see closer, so we do see more detail. But again, it's still a very simple raven. It's not highly detailed. This one needs to come out further. Mm, I should have gone with a smaller pen. Uh, let's just keep going. Let's bring this in. And so this isn't a pen that I normally use for really thin lines anyway. So I'm just going to have to be okay with it. I went ahead and bumped down to two and a half because I am using just the tip. This one is actually darker. I 
Yeah, I kind of made a mess with this one. Let's see here. How am I going to fix it since we've got a lot of darks going on? I'm going to stop for a minute. I'm going to take my knife. Put the hair on my face. What did you do? I just put the oh. graphic up for the two. And I'm going to thin out and get my curve. I'm going to have to go back with sandpaper, but right now I can knock it back. The knife, I'm going against the grain. So the grain's running this way, I'm going against it. Thin it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go back with a piece of 400 uh, sandpaper. And that, oh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about was the sanding of the board. I did this one differently. I'm going to smooth that out. I'm even going to go over the burn. Because if I don't smooth it out, I'm gonna, my tip is going to catch. But I'm okay with going over the burning. It's really dark. Not really a problem. And then I tend to go back with an eraser and pull out any of the sanding stuff. And remember, we've got dirt around here, so I'm not going to overly stress that I screwed up. Keyword, overly. Mm. I am going to switch over to the little pin, though. It's going to be the 9M. These ten, the 9M, the 18 extra small, and 18 small tend to be the pins I use the most, I've noticed. I need to make a video on that. You can have a whole bunch of pens, but some of them you may hardly ever use. And they cost a lot of money. This one I, ha I do have to bump up because it's more concentrated. It's, it's a smush such a small tip, it's thicker. So I have to, I'm going to bump that up. Two and a half. Let's see. How much of this? There's always a little dip to their top of their beak. Maybe I should have worn my hair out. <laughs> this is the back of the beak. Do you need a hair clip or something? No, nah, I got one. I'm wearing one. And then. We have some highlight on it. Now we can just move on. Yeah, I got feel a little, little better. Thank you, Carrie. Yes, thumbs up help us very much. We do still have our thumbs down person. Just not seeing him during the live. Well, it won't show everybody. I I can only see it. Oh, gotcha. And I need to care. Right. Just trying to get this shape right. It's a triangle, but it kind of comes out, and I'm a little off on it. And I can go quickly down to the feet. Because those are very thin lines. I'm just going to sketch them in. I've been doing a lot of sketching on to... On to this piece. And I'm going to quickly get the eyes in on our skull. Just so I know where they're at. Again, I'm just sketching things in. Okay. I got to do it. <laughs> you do? Oh, hair clip? Yeah. Gots to do it. Just at least for my bangs. Right. I'm going to switch back to the extra small because we're going to do the body. And I can do those in 
Very quick strokes. Okay. And again, we're gonna back out because it looks extremely rough right now. Extremely rough. But I think it's, it's supposed to, right? <sighs> yes, no. You gotta, you gotta fight that urge for refinement because this is the big piece. And when you zoom into those ravens on the big piece, they are rough, so. Mm. How does one fight their nature? Well, that's the purpose of this, of this uh, exercise, is it not? It is. We can see a little of the beard. So we can put some detail there. Mm -hmm. Again, it's just shapes, and I know it. I know it looks bad. You got, you're gonna have to be a lot less discerning. You gotta I am. Be like me. I am. <laughs> you gotta make more excuses. Like, oh, oh, that's uh, he's having a bad hair day. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, it's fine. I got this. I know you do. That was for me. Oh, okay. That was me telling me I got this. Fine, I'm not talking to you either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just hard when my brain is so used to extreme detail. Mm -hmm. But I did set this challenge. This is the way I set the challenge for myself. So. I will definitely finish. I mean, all my pieces are going to be finished. But. And I applaud you challenging yourself. I think that you should. I think that, I mean, that's the, the purposes. I have to figure out what direction to flip because I need to be able to drag. So we'll go up this way for a minute. It's going to be sideways, so this is the head looking this way. <laughs> Just so you can get your bearings. And this is so I can get a better drag. Maybe hopefully a smoother line. Remember, it's easier to flip your board than it is to stand on your head. And there's no way I can stand on my head. <laughs> Not happening. John wants to know what spoon shader do you recommend? Real quick. The Optima Spoon Shaders. Are those compatible with Burnmaster? Yep. Oh, okay. Though I believe he has a, I know, he has a Detail Master Cord, which is the exact same as the Burnmaster Cord, because the Burnmaster Cords are shorter and thicker. So I would recommend getting the Detail Master Cord along with the Optima Spoon Shaders. So I'm, I mean, I know the answer to this, but I'm, I'm asking this for the benefit of chat. Mm -hmm. So why, why are you recommending the Optima version? Because it is smooth. The Burnmaster um, spoon shader, I had that and it bends so easily while you're burning. Aren't the Optima ones polished too? Yes, polished, smoother. I mean, I've been using this tip for a while on higher burns and I still haven't cleaned my tip. Mm -hmm. I haven't needed to. And, and I think that like, for me, like I understand the, the physics behind it. Like having the, the, more polished tip it makes it harder for carbon to stick to it and it glides easier over the, the work well it has more to do um, the oxidation on the tip is stronger than carbon uh, so so it allows the carbon to be knocked off easier okay so and and I know like I wouldn't have known that like because but you can you can tell the difference between you know, a polished tip and an unpolished one. And 
the unpolished tips collect carbon so much quicker. Oh yeah. And they don't they don't glide over the work nearly as smooth. And that's just from observation. This is the Burn Master spoon. It is the older version. They have a newer one. But I actually had to bend this back into place. Because it had bent this far up. Well, so I had to push it back down. Something else, uh, just because the those tips, because they sock it in and then you screw them in, mm -hmm. um, that connection is another, is another yeah. connection that Yes. That uh, affects the efficiency of the heat, and so and the Optima pins are they're soldered directly. Yes, they're fixed. Up. They're fixed. So, mm -hmm. I mean, so you, what you're getting really is you're getting a more efficient pin. So. All right. Let's get this line in, and then I'll actually. Which means you can burn at a lower temperature which means your pins don't get as warm and it's more comfortable well the optim or i'm sorry the burn master unit really should be adjusted through its trimmer hole because it um, it's set too hot for flat burning mm -hmm. for carvers or whatnot who are working on different kind of wood may not be necessary but for flat wood burning basswood and birch and maple you need to dial it down all right so i'm trying to make sure i've got most of the darks in so i can actually turn down the heat and start blocking in though if I start up here and drag quickly full tip which I really didn't need to go to the edge there's gonna be a picture frame here because I can't see because he didn't paint the raven all the way to the edge So I gotta be careful because I'm actually kind of making information up there. Oh, I think that's fine. Like you said, the frame's gonna be covering it, so. So on sanding, this is a board that I bought from a lumber yard that I had them cut um, to 24 inches. But this one is a basically a 12 by 18 so I had to trim it down when I bought the wood it felt for the most part smooth but knowing how the wood can be because this is such a thick wood I sanded I started sanding at 120 instead of 220 in order to really get it nice and smooth and I can feel the difference in regards to this kind of wood in doing that. So I do recommend if you're using a cut down board that's thick to start sanding, even if it feels smooth, to start sanding at 120. And then I did 150 and then I went up to my 220 320 and 400 and I can really feel a difference on that I did not go any higher and I do have a blog post on why not to to go higher it's one thing to go lower so if it's rougher where you can see the saw marks then going lower is no problem in fact you should but going higher than 400 600 max um, besides saving you some money so you don't have to have all that sandpaper it keeps you from burnishing the wood and burnishing the wood means that you can push the grain down 
and it accepts heat differently. And I think that the, for me, what that kind of equates to is that you're trying to smooth out the wood, and the wood is porous to begin with, but when you go, when you start going into those higher grits of um, sandpaper, flip my you're, board again. you're starting to polish it. Yes, and, and that's what I mean by push the grain down. And that you're polishing it. That's what you don't want. And it requires higher heat to burn on the polish. I'm going to back this off so we can see how our raven is looking. Can you move the pin tip, please? Mm -hmm. Thank y'all. There we go. It is looking like a raven. Does need some more darks, but it is looking like a raven. And then I think I'll pop down to the frog, which is down here. That way we can get the frog in. There is a problem with the frog, though. The frog color value is the same as the wood. But I don't want to lose the frog. He used a different set of browns and greens in order for the frog to be there, though it's not meant to be really dark. It's just meant to be one of those you see it when you've been looking at the piece for a long time type thing. Yeah. But I don't want to lose it. So what are you going to do? I'm going to have to look really close at my contrast and see how much room I have to play with it. I mean, I, I would just darken it a little bit, but then again, I'm super lazy, so. And I'll probably have to do that, but I have to see how much I can do that without deviating from his painting. Carrie is saying a big thank you to you uh, for taking your time and effort in doing these. Thank you. And you know, I'm going on six years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Six years. All right. Let's quickly. Now the feathers are. And the wings are a bit angled. Let's see. I feel like I need some dark there. And see, I have to be careful because I do burn ravens. I know what a lot of times what goes where. Mm -hmm. But if he didn't put it there, I can't do it. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I think that that's perfect, like where it's at right now. I Right now, I'm just trying to get at least some of the texture. See, it's interesting, like because like watching you, even though you're you're burning, like I'm learning by association, like how this painting was constructed. Yeah, he he did a beautiful job. Uh, very quickly, let's get in our legs. See, it looks like we've got this really this doesn't feel long enough. The foot is on the skull. I just realized that. But in drawing the pattern I couldn't see that. Couldn't see that in drawing the pattern. And that's why I've, I have had to do some adjusting. And that's why a clear photo goes a long way. It really does. There we go. Is that feel a little bit better? This is straight. I mean, it looks good to me. All right, let's back it off just so we can see.
still can go darker. But because I don't want to run out of time. We'll very quickly pop down to the frog. Because right now we still have one, two, three, four, five. Five more ravens. Because there's one hiding behind her skirt. And I do want to do this raven right here. Because it's what's going to be cover the most with the smoke. So I have to work out how much I'm actually burning. Because I will be adding um, some thinned out gouache or what have you in order to recreate the uh, smoke and some of that raven does shine through so I do still have to burn it and then I have to paint over it for the smoke the smoke is the only thing that's going to be painted and we have some smoke down here I have not decided about the fire have not made that choice yet but I'm not there yet, so I'm not going to freak quite yet. All right. It, smoke is very evocative, and it it's like, I know it's a kettle or a cauldron, but but it makes me, it makes me smell. Yeah, he like did a... campfire food. I, I want hot dogs and bratwurst now. Yeah, that, that wasn't. I know that's not the goal, but what do you expect from me? I'm a hubcap. You're a hubcap. All right, I'm trying to make it where you guys can see more. This is the little bitty frog. This is the part of the line, cast line that she's casting into the dirt. And so we can see, I mean, it's probably easier if I, I'm gonna switch real quick back to the reference, the color. There's no way I can pull it in, but we'll do it this way. So down here, come on. That's the little bitty frog. And we can see the colors are very similar to what he did for the ground. And there's like ash and smoke from the cast. And how everything blends in. And if we look at the sepia... We don't get, oh, it helps if I'm actually on camera. See how light, or how there's not a whole lot of contrast in it. No, but he's defining it through the shadows. He is. Sorry, I'm looking at uh, the on the camera because it changes my perspective so I can see it differently. Yeah, yeah. If, I, if I was doing a master study on this, I, I think I would alter it a little bit. I think I'd take nope. the stick and then put like a hot dog on it. Nope. And then like over the fire. I'm being good. I'm trying to learn something. I'm actually going to have my phone right here so that I can I'll move it over so you guys I, can see. Wanda, I've got bratwurst in, oh, hi, Wanda. In, in, um, in the refrigerator right now. So... That's not a bridge too far for me. All right, I bumped down. I'm going to bump down to one. This tip, remember, it holds heat differently. So it runs a little bit hotter. So I'm going to bump it down. So we know the frog's booty has a darker shadow. Hi, phone. We've got a dot right here. Kind of goes over. We got a foot comes off to the side. See, even uh, above down below one, I may have to switch over to the 18 small. Just to ensure. There's a little light right here. We got booty, booty <coughs> shadow. Very technical term. Booty shadow. We've got some shadow here. We've got the eye. We'll get that in there. Let's see here. We've got the bottom of the neck. We've got the leg coming up. And he doesn't really have too much of a cast shadow that I can use 
to shape it. And we got the top of the eye here. Let me add that a little too dark. Top of the eye there. I'm going to blow on the tip just a little bit in order to control my heat. I am going to switch over to the 18 small because in using this lower heat I can get that lighter. I'm going to bump up to one and a half. So it doesn't look like a frog yet and I'm sorry I'm off camera. It's just I'm trying to. So maybe you can physically entertain quietly while I speak. Maybe you can hand signal out what I'm doing. Can you mime it? I can do that. I am Because I'm off screen. Okay, so what are you doing? But you have to be quiet. Okay. You can't talk. Okay, no problem. I got this. For some reason, I don't believe that. It's now you're on screen, so what, what am I okay. doing Okay, now I'm off screen because I'm working. Oh, okay. You see what I mean? Yes. So I'm going to get the top of the eyes. Oh, Greg's here. So. Hey Greg. So. Top of the eyes. I'm gonna drag down with just the tip. Because I do need a little darker. Remember the frog has tend to have like a little bit of a dark line along the back. I'm gonna use the tip. Do I want to see what you're doing? I'm miming this perfectly, I assure you. Continue to work. <laughs> you're doing too much fun. Okay, so we, okay, now I see. I couldn't tell so much what was going on here. That's one leg. We've got the bump in. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the bump in for the long frog leg. That's what that is. So I'm going to drag that in. There we go. That feels a little bit more froggy. Drag down the tip. Moving very quickly. And I'm kind of doing my sketchy pen tip move in order to get more sketchy texture because we are doing the frog let's see here I can't zoom this one in any closer we do have spots I got this little crease I'm gonna have to go back and watch to see what you did aren't I are we gonna get demonetized I mean no <laughs> sorry I was miming that oh I could use the smaller tip, but I want it more shaded than outlined. So I know that's hard to tell. I don't want to know. Okay. I, I don't want to know. I'm going to very quickly put a little bit of this line in, in order for me to see. This line is darker than the frog. And again, it's more of a sketchy motion. Let's see here. So I can see detail. See how hard it is to see what's going on. I do need this line. And then we got a little bit, you know how frogs have dots. Just use the tip. Kind of get that texture without being overly heavy with it. Oh. Using just the tip. 
we got lines here that go together. We don't have a lot of information, but I gotta make it look like a frog. See, with the dirt around it, I would just use the tip, kind of be sketchy like this. I'm using like closer to the top half of the tip. You see how close it is in color or in uh, tonal value. Duh, sorry, my brain died for a second. I don't want to know how he just did that one. Don't want to know. I can bump up to two and a half. Remember, if we look, our frog isn't standing out too much. It is pretty close. So I bumped up to two and a half. And I'm just doing scribbling motions. Just so we can get some of that in there. Don't want to know how you did that one either. I am trying to make sure, because we are on working on the ground right here, just to get some of this stuff in. I do have to make sure I stay parallel to the ground, unless there's like little hills. So I'm trying to make sure. I'm going along the horizontal horizontal line that way I don't make it feel off kiltered. You gonna do off kiltered? I already did. Oh. Alright. Again, this is another one. He did work in layers, so I have to cut myself some slack if I have to go back on something. You know? So let's back it out and see how much of a frog actually looks. If I can back it out. Am I done? Hold on, I, I zoomed in, so I have to undo my zoom. Let's see here. I'm trying to back it out enough, but that's as far my camera will go or my arm camera arm will go there we go does not look like a frog but if you look at the painting right next to it it don't look like a frog there either oh. it's just there let me catch up on hey, Carmen. chat yeah Carmen is here uh, oh <laughs> Carrie tell me quick look over my shoulder but I was so focused and trying to keep talking what did he do, Carrie? See, the French people are also known for talking with their hands, uh, Carmen says. So Carmen understood what I was saying, <laughs> which goes back to what I was saying, that I am an expert with sign language. You're welcome. No, no, you're welcome. Hey, that's not sign language. Oh, it's I signed you a language, all right. Yeah, aloha to you, too. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, I'm gonna pop in. Uh, the, the, Is Marcus here? Yeah, Clacker's Clark. I don't know when he came in. Oh no. I don't see it. I hope you feel okay, Marcus. Looks like he just came in. Oh, there he was. Yep. Is <laughs> kept having a medical episode? Oh, is he having? I one? was doing sign language. Thank you very much. I was off camera talking. So I asked him to mine what I was saying, and I have a feeling it was not mimed correctly. I never. Go ahead. Mimed correctly. I, you know what, I'm not going to respond to that, because I am a consummate professional in everything that I do. This is well known, Valerie. It's well known. It is indisputable. Professional. That's it. <laughs> so we're going to pop it. final. <laughs> That's what? Final. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and watch to see yeah. what you did. Do we, you want See if we're going to get in trouble you, for anything. You want, no. No. You know what? Look. Right. Let's see what... 
see what's going on here. Yeah, I guess nobody's at the door. <laughs> Are you driving away now? Alrighty, so I'm gonna bump down to one and a half because I know this is gonna be dark. I'm switch back over to the 18 extra small. I'm guessing you just made biography fun. <laughs> You're going to have to start doing that for like an hour each time. I'm actually going to angle. Oh my god, so that's can... exhausting. Yeah, well. Guess the work that's that you need to do. Your calling. You know, this is how people <laughs> find their callings. It is. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew that what this channel needed was a physical translation of your work hopefully you didn't truly say anything i didn't say anything. in sign language that could upset somebody i i don't think so i hope yeah. not yeah all right so we got a little bit of tail sticking out see better than that guy who did it for obama see what are you talking about that's what marcus says thank you marcus I oh he's talking keen is it keen appeal yeah, keep you. That did it for, yes, angry black guy. Uh, it's no, it's an anger translator. Anger translator. Sorry. Yes, that would be correct. But yes, because Michelle also had one. I've seen that. I could one. be your anger translator too, when you, when you're having. Are you gonna float to the ceiling? No, I don't want to go up there. There's too much swirling around. It's dangerous. <laughs> Alrighty, so now, whew, now I gotta figure out how dark. Float up there, be mentally scarred. <laughs> this is life. true. This is true. Alrighty, I think my best option is to bump down to one and start just no details because we can't see anything. So I'm half tip flat. Remember, I'm going to be painting over this, so it's getting the contrast correct. Sorry, my brain's trying to process this. I don't know why Roxy is having an episode. Charlie Phillips is here. So Hi, Charlie. This is the first time watching on my iPad. Usually I watch on Apple TV. Ah. So I never get to see the chat. <laughs> well, hey, Charlie. They are Welcome. a bunch. They are a bunch. But I love our bunch. So yeah, right here. Yes, you know what? It, it, I think it is going to be a great workout plan. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm here for all of your your video translation needs. Well, if somebody is hearing impaired, I hope they let us know <laughs> if, if you said anything offensive. Well, I, I didn't because I, I was using a different language. All right. I was, I was sign language in German. So. <laughs> in German? Yeah. All right. Remember, I'm painting over this with some white. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. There's a shadow line right here, like the bottom of the bird. It's poking I'm gonna out. I'm going to see what she's barking about. I don't know whether she's just having anxiety. Or, or it sounds like she's playing. Well, she might be. All right, now I can drag this. And right now it is not going to look right because I can't paint it until the very end. So we have to keep that in mind, but I just need to make sure. So this is full flat tip. Dragging down and I'm at one. But again, this tip, this pen carries the heat differently. And he just let in all the cold air into my studio. He's dragging it in. 
there's some areas that we know are darker than others. So I'm going to have to be really careful and pay attention as I am doing the uh, smoke. And we will, I will do that on camera because this is going to be something different. I'm going to actually bump up to one and a half. Check this over here. <laughs> Bernadette's good. He, he's good. Kathy needs Bernadette to say hi. That's what this is about. That's what that's about. There she is. <laughs> I bumped it up to one and a half. I think I want just a little bit more dark. Do the same. There is no defining this whatsoever. It's just all all darks. More like a silhouette, but it's gonna have the fog, the smoke over it. So I'm not going to get carried away. But I do need... Because in some of these areas, it is going to show through. She probably just got another carrot from Dad. Alright. So remember, it's not... Let's see, if we back out... It does look like a raven, but it's going to have the smoke over it. Let me see. Can I? She misses us so much. Is that what it is? We we might never be coming back. Oh, poor baby. I can always clean this off. That's why I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> I'm doing it sketchy like he did it. It's not going to show as much as when I go to paint it. Bernadette is fine. No, I just showed him. Ber oh, Bernadette oh. already said hi. Oh, she did. Yeah, oh, okay. she did. Okay. Yeah, she did. So we're just. Uh, I don't have the control anymore. Did this... you walk out of the room? I didn't have control long before I walked out of the room. Oh, no, I don't want it now. I don't want it. Fine. No. Here. I'm working. I'm working. Just pop on this. Just tap on the screen and it'll oh, go away. Sorry. Sorry. Because I can't see. So I just put a little bit of the white charcoal just so we can see. And that's the one I did. Oh, that's very good. Yes, because that's the one I did. There we go. Wow, that was a really long delay. You just put her up again. I did? Yes, you did that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> ah, my bad. Yes. But, you know, the world needs more Bernadette. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Based on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he would know to use odd numbered items in order to keep this balanced. I guess I, I see this darkness right here. I'm trying to figure out if that's shadow, if he actually put another bird. I think that's shadow. What do you think? What are you talking about? Right here next to that bird. Is that shadow? I don't think that's another bird. I think it's just shadow. Okay. Because he would have known that seven, that an odd number, would have been more pleasing to the eye. I mean, hence we got one sk one skull, we have one person, one cauldron, one cave, seven ravens, one frog. So everything is 
balanced in that way. So that's got to be a shadow back there. And I haven't put any of the shadows in. I forgot to do it on our raven over here. And Teresa is looking awesome. Oh, well, thank you. I definitely have to step away from it. Now, when I do draw lines for shadows on my patterns, I have always made those dots so that when I go to transfer it, when I see the dots, I know that's a shadow, not an actual part of the subject. Well, it is part of the subject, but it's not a defining line part of the subject. It's just a trigger for my eye to go, hey, that's a shadow. See here, how rough did he get those shadows? He actually got it pretty smooth. Even though it's on the ground, he got that really smooth. And let's see, this will also help define things. So let's get that in there. So I bumped down to one. See, I got that a little too dark. What is this? Oh, that's okay. That's a different part of the ground. It's not actually part of the shadow. So now I know I need to darken my shadow. But since it's burned, I can go back. You just get a little bit more heat. See, I think I... What did I mess up? Nothing. No, I've got the shadow off a little bit. I mean, no, it's I'm... not. The bird just shifted position. No, it's not that. I went too long on the beak again. No, you're perfect. But if I darken it, it'll be fine. Well, I guess more fine. So this is all because she misses us, huh? Yes. She's very lonely. She is not lonely. She, she has developed an anxiety. Though. She and um, Layla are right at the gate. I was uh, with well, their paws like this, waiting. And Roxy is barking. Let's see. Oh, we're already at noon. So I think next week we will do the cauldron. That's some straight lines we need to deal with. Straight lines. Straight lines. Straight lines. Straight lines. So we will deal with straight that. Straight lines. Next week. Straight lines. And I have to get started on World Biography Month. That's next month. Already. Already. Well, I'm also doing a, a month next month. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah, um, it's going to be World Nap Month. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about your the podcast, but that's this month. Oh, that's this month, yeah. No, next month is World Nap, nap Month. I'm going to be taking extra naps. I encourage everybody to do the same. Not everybody can do this. Too tempting. It's difficult. All right. So I've bumped up to the 18 as uh, small, and I'm at two, and I'm using the tip to smooth out. Get some darks going on. I am catching the. Is that way? I feel like I really messed up the shadow. No. I mean, it's a shadow, but... Exactly. But I want to do his shadow. But you're doing it. Don't feel like... shadow is just... Uh, it's just how it lays on the ground, and how you do the shadow dictates how the ground is. 
in the ground can be a lot of different ways. Yeah, but I want to do his shadow. See, putting the darks in a little bit just so I can see what's going on. Sheila says that she's had that much going on. She hasn't even finished the last World Pyrography month yet. I know, but remember I switched the months. Charlie, it is a skull. Yep. That she's shading around. Yep, there's a skull right here. It's symbolism. And as a trained um, artist and also a, a trained art historian, because I took art history, <laughs> so um, I can tell you that symbology for that skull is that somebody died. <laughs> and they left their skull. You took all those classes for that? Yes. Well worth the money, I assure you. And the raven's sitting on top of the skull. He's standing on top of the skull, actually. That is, he's sim it's symbolically saying, Hey, I'm on a skull. Yeah. All right, so let's back it up and see how much of the skull we actually see. See, we don't really see it. I see it. Well, yeah, we see it because we just watch me do it. But when we look at the painting itself, I, I can't. It's a small area. But yeah, now that you know it's there, you can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. Yes. There's a skull there, Valerie. Don't, don't keep that tone with me. I'm not a trial. I'm not trying your patience. I'm gonna have to go see. Like you did on the miming, aren't I? Yep. I'm trying to back off. Because I'm looking up at the screen because it makes it smaller and it's further away. Yes. What's going on here? I, oh, oh, oh. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. Oh, I could have got them. That's well, my... that's not why I did it. I'm moving back so I can see. Oh. And the camera is like right in the way. Looks good to me. Not bad. Definitely needs work, but I'm not done, so. That would be why it needs more work. We need to see, we need to see thank you to Andrea, which we already have. Andrea sent us our Christmas present and look, Look how awesome he painted this for me. I love it. It's an owl kitty. A wiki owl kitty. Wiki kitty owl? Kitty owl. It kind of looks like the scholastic owl. It does, but I love it. It's so awesome. He did a beautiful job and he got it glazed, or he glazed it. Yep. And then he also sent us Dirty Santa. He even put the plaid on his jacket. It's so awesome. Yes, it is very awesome. And I appreciate the 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 work that you put into this because I've done ceramics and I, I know that you had to use specific glazes to get the things that you wanted. And yep. it's not always easy. So it's much appreciated. I love it. See, that's another thing I'm an expert of because it's cool. Ceramics expert. Hubcap. Ceramics ex expert. Communications expert. Whatever. Expert of so many things. Whatever makes you feel good. Whatever makes you feel good. It sort of sounds like that you think that I'm not an expert, and that bothers me. No, it doesn't. What? It doesn't Tell bother you. Tell me what you. to think. It doesn't bother you. I'm just trying to... needs to be brighter. Put these it's back fine. Over here. All righty. So, I'm yep. Less likely to knock them over. <laughs> Please. Thank you again, Andrea. Love them. Thank you very much. Love them. They are amazing. So, next week we will work on the cauldron. Plus, I need to work on New Year, New Year surprise presents. And who be that? 
I don't know. Uh, that's Spencer. Photos. That's Spencer. It's not my he's business. probably good. No, you can it's click on business. that. You can click on that. Yeah, he's just sending photos of what it looks like on his TV. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank you, Spencer. It's good in there. So cauldron, and then that means we have what two weeks left. For what? To finish this, this has to be the, the the last live is last Tuesday of January. Oh. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm finished with the piece, but that's Wait, the last live we'll do on this. So what's the date? Today is the eleventh. What? What just happened? January just started. Yeah. Inconceivable. Oh. You see gives her the love and smile. And yeah. love it. Yes. She might be talking to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So, yeah, we'll do the cauldron next week. Hopefully you can see it okay. That way you can tell what we are doing. Let me pop up. So, yeah, next week we will do the cauldron. Not that you guys can see my mouse moving. <laughs> we'll do the cauldron. The following week, we will do the mountain line because we do have a different texture up here. And then the last week, we will do the sky. There's a cat in it? There's a what? So there's a mountain line in it. Mountain line. Yeah, that's what I said. Mountain line. Mountain line. Mountain. L I N E. Line. Mm -hmm. No. It's mm -hmm. not a cat. Not a cat. Okay. Not a cat. <laughs> so we'll do that, and then we'll do the sky, because the sky has a whole bunch of texture in it that I really want to make sure the stroke captures. You can see all that. But you see, this is more painterly than down here. So I'm actually going to use a bigger tip back here so that I can just do quick strokes, which is probably what he did. He spent more time down here on the subject in the foreground and he pushed the background back and did very sketchy more painterly brush strokes that's what it looks like to me Does that look like it to you yes so i'm going to actually use a bigger tip and that'll help us also to fill it in quicker it's wanda's birthday next week <gasps> Yay! Uh, on sunday on sunday well this week i guess well then happy birthday no, we got it. We haven't done it in a while. What have we, we done? We haven't done it in a while. What have we not done? You concerned this me. This isn't a pen that I that is worth using. Remember? No. This one may not go red. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> All right. Remember? Remember what we do? Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wanda. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Blow it out. Good job. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time, but nobody's told us it's their birthday. I know. So that, that was a hot. burner birthday song. Yes. I need to write like a new... New lyrics? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we will get started on the cauldron next week. If we don't have any other questions... Doesn't appear to it. Doesn't Maybe. appear. So you know what to say it with me. Say it with me. You're awesome. You can do this. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Happy birthday, guys. Bye. <laughs> were, you, were you being a fire artist? I was doing the <laughs> universal translation for that. <laughs> mm. You're welcome. <laughs>